Hi guys, it's Barty from Relayla Creates, and I'm bringing you a video showing you the three envelopes that I created for um, Sheila of Boho Daydreams challenge, envelope challenge. And so here's my first one. It is um, a patterned, a lace pattern uh, paper. It's from the Carousel collection. Um, it's a, a paper pad that I picked up from Tuesday morning um, and I have another piece of the coordinating paper layered on top it is stitched um, it's a music sheet uh, to go with it and then I just layered uh, different laces and uh, trims on top I've got a little piece of burlap here um, now this lace here is from the paper collection denim and pearls I believe uh, one that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby when they had a, a mega a clearance sale but you can see um, it has the lovely texture appearance of texture and then we have the piece of uh, burlap and then a rose okay and on the back side this is like a policy envelope here. Um, it's just the different laces carried over to the back and I try to make one seam going along here. And then this is one of the cutouts from that uh, paper pack. Okay, and it measures, let's see, about five and a half. by nine and a quarter so this is the back and this is the front okay envelope number two is this one right here um, the paper is covered in roses I'm not sure if you can see that under that lace there And it was just cut down um, to eight and a quarter, I believe. I used my, um, sorry, my punch board, my envelope punch board for this. And it's the first time I've ever used it. Um, it took me a minute to get used to it. Doing it the wrong way. I had to watch a video. But anyway, um, so I just added different trims from my stash around it and give it more of a shabby chic look um, this lace right here had the pearls attached to it already and this pink trim uh, came with the the pearls already interwoven okay and then the back is more plain so you can see the roses I have one piece on the back here and again, um, the liner liner is from two different papers. Uh, this is from the English Tea Party, I believe, from Recollections. And this one is from, this top piece is from the Denim and Pearls collection. I really like how it's got the lace, um, you know, where it actually looks like it could be lace. Okay. And then my third envelope is this one right here. Uh, I may be mistaken, but I believe this uh, piece of paper came from the Recollections Tea Party as well. It just added some um, lace around the edge and embellishment. And some appliques, the floral applique, and then I put on small pearls. There's five small pearls. My hand's in the way, I'm sorry. Five small pearls on the top. Let me move that light away a little bit. There you can see the pearls. Light's kind of washing it out. 
Got the embellishments um, at the four corners. Okay, and then in the back, I have a rosette, the shabby rosettes. And then again, the uh, lace trim is just taken all, the trimmed all uh, the outside of the envelope. And the inside is lined. And this particular piece of paper came from an adult coloring book, the Kath Kitson floral coloring book. I got it at Hobby Lobby on clearance for $3.73. So that came from there. And uh, Sheila can either color it in if she likes or, or leave it the black and white. Okay, so these are my three envelopes and I'll be getting them into the mail this weekend. And I just want to say thank you, Sheila, for the challenge. It was a lot of fun creating these. It's the first time I've ever created envelopes. And I had a lot of fun doing it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.